It's time for Proving It, presented by Titleist. So many times I see people struggling with understanding what we'll call, and I'm throwing air quotes at you, weight shift. What is weight shift all about? Well, basically what we wanna do when we're moving the body, it's a rotational movement. And what we wanna feel is in effect, our upper body, in my opinion, is moving with the golf club. I don't want the upper body moving away from the direction that the club is going. So I don't want my upper body falling forward while my club is going in that direction. Now that also doesn't mean I don't want you sliding back this way. It's a rotational fashion. So when we move properly, body is gonna rotate and the club is moving back behind us. And then when we come down into the shot, I wanna feel my body moving forward, down, forward, and over to my left side. Now, when we start to do this, we have to understand, well, when are we doing it and when are we not doing it? When are we doing it correctly? When are we not doing it correctly? So what I've got here is I've got a little bar with a swim noodle off it. And what I do is I just put that bar right onto my lead shoulder here. Now, what I wanna feel, what I wanna imagine is that my trail shoulder is moving up to that, that swim noodle there so our weight is in a forward direction so many times what i'll see people do is they start to come through the ball and then they start moving the shoulders back and away from that bar and what happens when you do that is you lose control of the low point the low point is where the golf club is at its lowest point striking the ground or the ball what we want to be able to do is get that low point at or in front of the golf ball and the way we do that is making sure that the body weight is moving in a forward direction. And when you're done, you should feel like you've got real weight on that lead side, that left side, particularly when we're hitting an iron. That's one of the most important things that you can do to be consistent with your iron play, is make sure that you've got control over that low point. When the ball is teed up with a driver, you can, you can get away with some stuff. When the ball's sitting on the ground, it's really hard to get away with it. So what we wanna be able to do is control that low point by feeling that trail shoulder getting forward almost over the lead foot. This little drill is a wonderful drill for you because it's gonna give you a, a frame of reference. Here, I gotta get up to here. So the drill goes like this. You set this right off your shoulder and this camera five angle is gonna show this beautifully here. You're gonna see where that is right off the lead shoulder. And now when I get through, I wanna feel my trail shoulder getting to that right there. So we're gonna do that. And you'll start to feel your upper body moving forward or feeling like it's moving forward. It's not moving forward, but it feels like it's moving forward. And what happens when we rotate is all of a sudden now we're going in that direction. I don't want to slide forward. I want to rotate the body into that forward direction. And that's why we feel that trail shoulder going this way. I don't want to slide it up like that. I won't have created any power. I want to rotate it up like that. So... We do that drill. Now, we're gonna hit one getting that feel. So that's right on that lead shoulder right there. Excellent job, givers. Okay, and now we go. Now I hit that shot and that starts really straight. Doesn't have a lot of curve to it. In fact, it only had about 159 RPMs of left spin, which is not a lot. That's relatively straight. So we do that drill. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move this out of the way. Put that up there. Get that feeling in my mind, I still see that swim noodle right there. And I get that feeling of moving over to that lead foot. Very good weight transfer. Now, a wonderful shot here. This one, I kind of like it a lot. Actually, you know what? Let's turn some like into some love. I love that shot. Really good motion there. And that one only had 24 RPMs of left spin. What does that mean? It's a very, very straight shot. Why? Because my body now, as it's moving that way, has moved the low point forward. So I've got a square club face when I strike that golf ball and I'm not hitting the ground before the golf ball. I'm actually hitting the ball and then the ground, which is exactly what you want to try to do. So wonderful drill for you. You can make this stuff yourself. Just get that image of the body getting onto that forward side and that trail shoulder getting up to that, that swim noodle that's sticking right out there. And when you start to do that, what you're gonna find is 
very consistent shots, not a lot of curve to them, and a real control over the low point, which is going to allow you to strike the ball solidly, get consistent and predictable distance, so that when you go out to go play, particularly with those irons, you want to hit your 7-iron 160 yards, it's going to go 160 yards. It's not going to be one of those 140s or worse. You're going to be able to have predictability with that, and when you get predictability with that, you're going to get real solid strikes on the ball, and you're going to get very, very consistent scoring. That's Proven It, presented by Titleist. To improve all parts of your game, subscribe to my channel and click the link below.